here we are at Lord's Rock. In the old days this was a local swimming hole, so let's go up and uh, we'll check out and see what's up here. Well today they say you're not allowed to swim in it. I suppose it'd be alright. But around the uh, wet belt there's a lot of these rocky outcrops and the Aboriginals used them because they knew there would be a place of water. That's pretty interesting, what do you think, Tom? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose if you drive out of town, you can always find those little things. You'll probably never be past here again, so if you stop in a town, make sure you always uh, make the effort to go and have a bit of a look around. And um, a lot of these places have signs and tells you about a bit of history, so it's always worth a bit of a read. But uh, yeah, that was pretty enjoyable, right? Yeah. It's good. It's not a lot. Well, in the old days, probably the 1800s, Gorge Rock was a, had an actual community living around it and probably would have been a good source of water for everybody. But the early pioneers here, so we've been up to have a little bit of a look at the, at the, uh, at the rock itself. It's quite good, but here's some of the, a photo of some of the old family that used to be here. You know, you think back in the old day of how hard life would have been. I know they wouldn't have known our easy life that we live today. But these old families and, you know, there's a few flies here today and it's pretty warm. And yet all these people always had their coats on and their hats and all that. But uh, this is just some of the pioneering families of George Rock. 1906 it says, so it wasn't quite as early as 1800. But... 1906 to 1927, but yeah, a lot of memories here.